Witness's biggest player and Witness's smallest player there doing the tackling. Corky, this has been doing some running today, but he's so is equally so Daniel Friend's been doing some tackling. There's Rooney putting the kick in. Justin Ryder's after this. Chris Giles needs to be on. Justin Ryder scored. It looks like Justin Ryder has scored. Yes, Justin Ryder scored there. I think on a, on a, a dry day, he wouldn't have slid over, but he may have been able to gain his feet and scored in the corner. So Wakefield take a 4-0 lead on the 17th minute of the game. It was a clever kick through. Here comes David March, right footed. It looks like he's got it. Yes, he has. It's Wayfield going to a six points to nil lead. And he's so to witness now to show character to respond to this. Halted on his 30. For a second, then it looked like he said Domit was going to go around Nicky Royal and Stephen Myler. David Solomono offloads. Oh, no, now it's a 2v1, but Dimitri has gone in the field. There's Ryder. Tackled by Hobson and Daniel Frame. <laughs> David Marks to Korkidis. And Korkidis has gone through. He's got support on either side. And Jamie Rooney's Jamie Rooney looks like he scored here. Yes, Jamie Rooney scored under the post. Michael Korkidis and Jules O'Neill are both on the floor here and injured. Jules looks in a bad way there. Yeah, the try under the post, so I think David March will have no problems adding the extra two. <laughs> and David March taking his time to set up this kick again. Yes, March has no problem adding the extra two. It's now Millard's waiting. Gets it to Peters. Peters to Myla. He's got a player inside, but he goes outside. I think that's Simon Finnegan there. Goes on the short side. Back to Myla. To Millard. Daniel Frame, we've got a normal lap here if he can find the support. And Daniel Frame, that is an excellent try by him. Witness had a 3v2 there. And Daniel Frame just showed the dummy and went through the gap himself and had enough strength to get over. So Witness score there about 15 metres to the left of the upright. And Stephen Myler responsible for the goal kicking today. Yeah, Daniel Frame there, um, he come onto the line. There we go. And he's, he's done a good job there, he's, it's Witness, uh, six points behind now, it's Witness six, Wakefield 12. Gary Middlehurst is... How's that Shane Millard? But Shane Millard, you come to expect that week in, week out. Very frequently in the Opta team of the week. Ben Jeffries is going through, is he? Oh, and Ben Jeffries sidesteps Jules O'Neill to score it. That fine solo try. Yes, the witness, the hole just opened up in the witness defence then, and Jeffries had enough pace to get through it himself. Ben Jeffries there, coming across from the right to the left. Saw a gap, decides to go through it, and comes to Jules O'Neill and just stepped off the left foot and then had enough pace and power left to get over himself before the cover gets there. David March, right-footed. And he gets it. 
So after 31 minutes, it's witness six, Wakefield 18. Willie Peters, will he put the kick in on the last? Yes, he will. This is for Nicky Royal to chase. And it's back to one for witness there, and Dion Bird runs the ball back. It's a good run by Dion Bird. There's good pressure on the kicker put in by Nicky Royal. Oh, and the, ref the referee's called for a penalty there as, G as uh, Shane Millard looked to be going over. Well, at least he taps it. Willie Peters, he's over. Will the referee give this? Yes, he has. Willie Peters gets his second try in Witness shirt there. It was good play. I thought that Witness had the opportunity to score a try foiled then by a refereeing decision. But a quick tap taken. Willie Peters goes through a gap. I thought he was going to be held up, but the little man had um, just enough strength there to get the ball down. Who sadly missed last week was Willie Peters when he had to go off with a cut on his head. The reason for his bandage today. Yeah, so Milan makes no mistake with the kick. So after 36 minutes, it's witness 12, Wakefield Trinity Wildcats 18. Millard again for Martin Halfback, who's well watched though by McGillivray. It's Willie Peters, it's a crossfield kick. What can Witness do here? Dion Bird's waiting for it, he palms it back, and Simon Finnegan has scored at the corner. It was a great crossfield kick from Willie Peters there. Dion Bird did well, he leaped up in the air. Peace, hopefully. Starts his run up, strikes it. And he's straight down the middle, no mistake with that kick. We're all square now after 17 minutes of the second half at 18 apiece. Run from Hobson. Here's Miller from half back. He's got Willie Peters with him. Oh, and that's a knock on, so it'd be back to six. And referee wipes it clean, does he? And that's a good run from Mills. And Solomona again seemed to come round with the hand. Oh, the referee wipes the tackle count down now. I thought he hadn't done. Oh, and it's an interception by Sid Domic. Can anyone? Nicky Rose chasing as he got the legs together. I don't think he has. No, Sid Domic has scored an interception try. will break the hearts of the Witness fans, witnessing the attack. Just hope Witness can respond from this try now. Witness come across on the attack, the ball went out, it was passed to Willie Peters, but Sid Domic intercepted and raced. 90 metres to score, 10 metres to the left of the Witness upright. minutes left on the clock you don't want to start playing so Rooney right footed to try and re-establish a six point lead and he does so so with 12 minutes left Wakefield the lead in by 24 points to 18 <coughs> Millard to Hobson 20 metres out now. That was a good dummy. Oh, and Daniel frames through. Oh, he just couldn't get it away to his support. Is he over? He's over. Is, is he held up or not? The referee's given a try. It's under the post. Witness are back in this game. Daniel Frame gets his second try of the match. It was wonderful play by Shane Millard there. Through the dummy went himself and Martin Halfback found the support of Daniel Frame. Daniel Frame stepped and had, had about three men on his back and had the strength to get over between the posts and then forced the ball down. And you would put your house on uh, Stephen Myler to make this conversion to level the scores up.
The noise from the crowd now is deafening. Stephen Marlon makes no mistake with the kick. So with seven minutes left, it's witness 24, Wakefield 20. There and Applegar to Daniel Frame. Steps off his right and he's tackled by number 19 there. This is Rob Spicer, the loose forward. Playing loose forward instead of the inform. Gareth Ellis, the Great Britain man. And is that going over? I think he's got it. Little, little Willie has kicked Witness into the lead there with a drop goal from about 30 metres out. Willie Peters puts Witness into the lead for the first time in this game. And the Witness fans are going.